Thanks for joining and welcome to this talk introducing the Red Hat OpenShift extension for Docker Desktop. My name is Stevan Lemer. I'm product manager at Red Hat working on developer tools. And today I'm particularly pleased to speak at DockerCon and take part in the launch of this new community around extensions for Docker Desktop. So at Red Hat, we want to make the developer experience simple and easy when developers are targeting Kubernetes as a runtime environment. As developers, testing our application on Kubernetes and testing in an environment which is going to be as close as possible to the one that is used in production could be a challenge. There's a lot of complexity to get that environment set up. And there's also an additional overhead which is coming with the uh, extra config files that we need to manage. So even if we have the commonality of containers, getting them to run on Kubernetes can be a challenge and it's just not as easy as a build and refresh and the turnarounds are getting slower. So the impact on our developer workflows, they are quite substantial and we believe that it does not have to be that way. And that's why we are building all the tools that we are building at Red Hat. And this extension for Docker Desktop aims to provide you guidance on everything that you need to do in order to get your application running on Kubernetes. We want to bridge your local environment to the environments where you are going to run your applications, helping you into deploying and testing your application on Kubernetes, making sure your application is secured, following the best practices, and will be built with a target runtime environment in mind to make sure that those application will handle all the potential prerequisites as well. Because ultimately as developer, we just want to build and deploy our apps quickly and being able to address the things that we care about, like being able to access the logs of the application, debugging the application, connecting to different services that are available on the cluster and integrating with the CI, things like that. But all those additional services, they also need to be procured and integrated on top of your Kubernetes platform. And that's what Red Hat OpenShift is providing. So Red Hat OpenShift is Kubernetes for enterprises built on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It's fully supported from the container host to application services. And it is a platform for hybrid cloud. You can deploy it on any cloud or on-premise. For developers, uh, OpenShift provides many services covering CI, CD, GitOps, Service Mesh, and also much more services and tools like the Integrated Developer Console, which provides a, a dedicated view of what's running on the Kubernetes cluster, but for the developers. So you can quickly get access to the logs and understand how your application is, uh, is behaving. So the Red Hat OpenShift extension for Docker Desktop is enabling the developer who are working with OpenShift to deploy and test their apps with ease. So you choose the target environment, the project or the namespace where you want to deploy your application, and you select the image of your app and then the application gets deployed. Once the application is running, you will be able to uh, inspect and see the different behavior of your, uh, your application and test it properly on the cluster. So let's do a quick demo. So for this demo, I have built a simple Quarkus application, which is just opening a hello uh, endpoint. Um, I'm happy with my application. Everything is working fine on my local environment. So I built its image and I'm running it in a container and I can show you it's running properly. I have my hello endpoint that is behaving properly as well. So now what I want to do is that I want to deploy that application onto OpenShift. So I have the OpenShift extension, which allows me to do that. So if I click on deploy to OpenShift, it looks for the context on where we are going to deploy the, uh, the application. So it's choose the, the default one, but you can also change the context and see all the different contexts that you have on your local environment. If I unfold it, I can see uh, in which project my application is going to be deployed. 
Then I need to select uh, the image that I want to deploy. So I can find my application here and hit the button deploy. When I am deploying it, uh, it is pulling the container from Docker Hub, which I have pushed on Docker Hub before. The image is, uh, is found and uh, start as well. And on the application is going to be a start. The application is going to be uh, exposed to the outside by creating a, a route as well. And once it's running and start, the application is directly open in the browser and you can see that it's working fine as well. And now if I go to OpenShift, I have the developer console where I can see my application in the topology view, but I can see all the details about my application, the route that has been created, quickly access to the logs. I have access to the terminal as well, and all the things that I need to inspect, test, and understand how my application is, uh, is behaving on, uh, on OpenShift. In the future, we will work on providing easy access to Kubernetes uh, by leveraging the Red Hat Developer Sandbox, which provides OpenShift environments in the cloud uh, for free and uh, which are requiring no setup. We will also work on the watch mod to automatically uh, detect changes in the source code to build the image, push it, and deploy the application on the development cluster. And if you are interested by uh, this extension, uh, you will find the link to the repository. Feel free to reach out to us, share your feedback, ideas, report issues, or contribute. Um, I also really invite you to give a look at developers.redhat.com. You will find a lot of uh, technical blog posts, ebooks to download, and, uh, and also access to all the different tools that we are building, like plugins for VS Code, IntelliJ, or or Eclipse, um, and you will also get access to the online free OpenShift Sandbox environments uh, from, uh, from this website. So I really invite you to, to give a look there. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for, uh, for joining today and uh, looking forward to hearing your feedback on the extension. <laughs>